All right. I got to check and see if everything's working. So just, just give me a minute here. One, two, three, four, five. Cool. <clears throat> All right. If you're watching this after the fact, thank you for watching it. If you're watching this live, I've been playing a lot of the show, and I really wanted to do a franchise mode and, and see if I could turn a team around. So pick the A's. They are the worst team in baseball. Um... My plan is to tear down and completely rebuild. So I'll probably kind of just tear down in the first year, sim through the entire first year, go through the off season, and then try again the next year. So the first year is going to be a lot of like simulation and uh, trades and free agent deals and drafting and stuff like that. Um, all the settings are set up. Uh, I manage everything except for scouting because I always forget about it. I still try to go into scouting sometimes, but I forget about it a lot so I don't want to I don't, I don't want to forget about it and then don't, you don't know anybody on the draft board um, and injuries are MLB only obviously so I'm going to kind of change mood here a little bit oh, that changes colors like this up and down it looks like what I'm looking for. Where are the solid colors at? Oh gosh. Flash warning. There we go. Solid colors. I like that one. I like the red. I just couldn't get to it. <laughs> So we're gonna start. Okay. So we're gonna start. Let me get my remote. It's all tied up here. Um, so we're in spring training. I don't plan on bringing like anyone back. So here's the team we're working with here. Montez needs to be traded. Murphy needs to be traded. Blackburn needs to be traded. Ramon Lariano needs to be traded. These guys all need to be traded. They don't even have prospects. There's on. He's he's really good, obviously. So. <laughs> So, this seems really bad, but not even, obviously the MLB team is bad, they're the worst team in the league, but they don't even have prospects. Alright, let's see how many top prospects we can get. So here's a list of top prospects. Big Yankee fan, so I might go after Volpe. Can literally go after anybody. Although, this dude is nasty too. Okay. Let's put some guys in the block.
Okay. We're all set up. So the first thing I like to do is go through and see if there's any good free agents. And um, young free agents. But to do that, we're going to have to cut some people, so... I just cut Brett Harris. I didn't want to do that. Hold on. Hold on. The Gonzaga in me will not let me cut Brett Harris. Did we see what he was? Position he was? I might have to restart. Which is fine. I'll just reload it, but... We're going to go right back to it. Don't worry, everybody. The Gonzaga and me can't let me cut Brett Harris. Brett Harris is a, a Gonzaga player. He was actually on my podcast all years. The website right there, christianobble.com. You can find that. So let's go back for future. So here's Brett Harris right here. We'll have to find a way to get him to the pros. These guys can go. I don't care who these guys are. I wonder if that means the other guys are on there. The Gonzaga and me might make me trade for some Gonzaga players. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. So we're gonna go through and see if any of these young players have good potential. And then sign them. And that's about it. So for a minute, it's going to be kind of boring. I opened up five spots, so... Might have to open up some more. Oh, that is the last spot. Okay. So there's a closer here, 21, right? This guy, yeah. Okay. Look at that. That's a good one right there. Okay. There's another pretty good one. Let's see what this 18-year-old is first. They're all 23. I like this guy better. He's got a lot more power. I don't try to go, like, when they're, like, a 58, if they're a B, it's not even worth it because they're not going to make it. But we're trying to build their, their pathetic farm system. Oh, here's uh, the dude from Texas. I don't know why he's a free agent. I don't think they caught him, but let's put a flyer out on him for a year. Oh. Cut some players first. I'm sure, there's plenty to cut, so. All these guys, look at these, all in their late 20s. The way I'm acting in this game, it's sad that like that's like a real thing. <laughs> oh, this guy's in his late 20s, single A, not that good. See you later. Tough game. Oh, I wish. I think the closer was the 70 overall. Usually don't get multiples of those. We didn't really see too many A potentials, which is not... It's very uncommon. Here's one. Here's the A potential. There's another one. It's not common to get that. Um... How far down we go in these? Saw them, saw him. He's a C. Let's see, a D, C, C. Wow. 
I want to try to have a full roster at least. I know there were some first basemen. Let's go back to first base. I know there were a couple here. Elk Stromboli. I thought there was one more. Oh, here he is. Okay, the roster's full. First thing I might do is have to go see if my Gonzaga guys are there. So, one would be on the Twins. And I don't see him. Just seeing if they changed his position at all. Doesn't look like it. Okay, so and the other one's on the Padres. The starter. And it doesn't look like he's there either. Okay, so only one one of my Gonzaga guys is here. So he's it's funny. He's already on the team. Wouldn't even know if I wasn't the A's. I wouldn't have never looked. Okay. Go directly to the regular season. Put some sponsorships on this guy. Don't really care which one's where. Just want to make sure we're making some money back. Um, this is on auto, like I said, but we should probably sign new scouts. That scout's actually better than him. Okay. Well, he'll be gone at the end of the year. It looks like we'll probably replace most of the staff by year's end. Except for him. He's pretty good. Okay. So, like I said, the first year's kind of a wash. We're going to just try to make some trades. Um... Nothing crazy. So I'm going to put him on the 40. Oh, I have to take someone off. Let's see. Oh, this is a perfect guy to take off the 40. He's a 49 overall. I'm going to put him on the 40 because I would like him to stay with the team. He's got some decent stats. He may end up being on the Major League roster. I'm not going to lie here. Okay. So we are going to... I don't care what really happens with the lineup or anything. We're just going to kind of sim through this year. We're going to go to June, July... So if you just joined or you skipped ahead and the his videos put out later, um, my plan is to turn them around. The first year is kind of just a wash. You're just going to get rid of guys, especially the ones with expiring contracts. Um, and just kind of build through the minor league system like we did. And... Uh, so with this first, so this is the most important part of the first one here is the draft. Now I had scouting on auto because I always forget to do it. it. Looks like this second baseman is to wait the way to go. They said he's around seventy or eighty. Not too fast. Looks like he's gonna have decent contact. All right, I think this is the guy to go with. He's very well scouted, 18 years old. Maybe a couple years in the waiting, but. Uh, catcher. Not a good, not good contact, not good power. Good blocking. Um, okay fielding. Slow. Really slow. 
fast. Not great contact, but. Below average contact, below average power. The only thing he has is stealing and speed that make him really good. He's about average on everything. I think he's gonna be a good fielder. Okay, we'll go with the catcher because we don't really have one. We're not gonna have one at least. Okay, next pick we can go with that outfielder again. I kind of want to look into this guy. I think this guy's gonna be good. This is just a guess, absolute guesstimate. Who'd they lose in free agency? Matt Chapman. No, they traded Matt Chapman. So he's Philip. Who is still here? That's not a good thing. I kind of. I was looking at the shortstop. We have no scouting on him at all. He's not that good. But his scouting, his scouted is much higher, but he wasn't really scouted. I think fly. What about this one? A little fast. Good fielder. Really good fielder. Decent discipline and vision. Decent power, really good contact. All right, we're gonna go with this one. None of this matters if we get it, and the potential's like a D, so. I guess we have to go with him. He's still left. Is this the other shortstop we're looking at? Yeah, look at this one. He's above average to start. His potential is an A. Pretty, kind of fast, averagely fast, right? Above average. Okay. I'll take in short stops because you can almost put them anywhere in the field. All right, who finally went? Let's check out. Good steal, not good speed though. Good fielder, good power. I hope these guys pan out. I think I'm just gonna take this starting pitcher, last pick. Okay, so we'll sim one day and see how we did. 88 potential, 62 overall. TGIF, really fast. Going to be a good starting fielder. East, the Orioles starting pitcher, number 27, had his first victory Not of good the year overall. The the Mariners, Looks like he's going to be a good fielder. The Los Angeles nice Angels of contact Anaheim first lefties, that's it. Runs, as they so took good down potential. The in the Bronx, Should be nine, five. up soon. The Rangers totaled 13 hits as a team. Victor as Cruz, really good power. Three. Really good speed. This was a good pick. Crowd, eight, three. Potential kind of sucks. Fielding is good. That's what we thought it was going to be. Speed's all right. Crowd home happy and extra innings is what it is. Again, potential. Twins, this guy's a bust. Absolute the bust. We'll Stein him still, but he's a bust. As a team, as they took down Another bust. Miami, four um, nothing. The Red okay, Fielder, awful with the bat. He won't make it to the bigs. The the and Field, this was just a flyer, so I don't really care about the that Washington one. Nationals put together 10 total hits as they got past the Reds in Cincinnati, 5-1. to one. The Milwaukee Brewers held the opposition at doing. bay with only four hits as they bested the visiting Padres, 4-1. to one. No home runs. The Colorado Rockies hit Love three it. long balls as they took down the visiting Braves, 8-6. Jason Shreve earned the third W of his season as the Mets turned away the Dodgers two okay. to one. And that'll do it Back for to today. It. Enjoy the games and we'll, we'll talk head to, to July. You. Alec Manoa traded to the Braves for Soroka and Riley. Riley? What sense does that make? Where are they going to put him? Donaldson? It's not moving off the third. Vladdy Jr. Maybe Vladdy Jr. will become their DH. 
I guess that means I should stop and see who's in. Who's on the block? Okay. So what I want from here is young guys. Sorry, I'm itching my eye there. I want young studs if there's any out here. There sometimes is. Not really this time though. Where are all our guys? Where's like Frankie Montez? Are they? They like, took them all off the block. Oh, it's because I left and came back. Oops. Okay, let's do that. No, these are all the top prospect guys. Okay. Logan Davidson. Fun fact, I watched Logan, Logan Davidson play when he was at Clemson against Boston College. It's pretty cool. Okay. <clears throat> We're going to look for catching, shortstop, second base, third base, center field, and I'm going to take off catcher, and actually I'm going to take off shortstop and put left field, and I guess we'll do starting pitching. Do we have any all-stars at all? No. How did they not have Rizzo's picture on the Yankees? Been there for a year. So let's come back July 7th. That's where I was originally simming to and see if anyone has any interest. And then we'll. Oh, here we go. Josh James for Chad Pinder. Nah, okay. Must have an awful training staff. Hazley. Adam Hazley for Chad Pinder. So people really want Chad Pinder. I don't know why. Probably because he can play everywhere on the field. 237 hitter. Pretty terrible. But that means those guys have some interest, so. Good Thursday morning to you, show nation. Tough month for Brian Howard. Baseball action, starting out Tough month for him, too. The A's allowed only this five hits in the it, game as they took down the visiting Blue Jays, one to nothing. Okay, Royals first thing I'm going to do is see how I do Brett's doing. As they got a win over the Astros in Houston, 5-2. He's cooled off a little bit. One home run, 13 ribbies. Not bad, 253. As they beat the O's in Baltimore, 4-1. Okay. Angels smacked 15 team hits San Diego, Colorado, the Marlins, and Washington. The Boston Red Sox racked up San Diego's also as interested as in Sean Murphy. Five to four. The Minnesota Twins got LA, hits in this New York, they got the Ooh, extra the win over the White Sox. So the Dodgers. Oscar Mercado had a great day driving in five on three hits. Okay, so let's, let's start with Lariano. 14 to four. The Atlanta Braves right. told 13 hits as a team as they got the best of the visiting Redbirds, 8-6. Well, it doesn't look like we could trade with the Dodgers. Hits as they got the best of the Phillies in Citizens Bank Park, 3-2. The Mets completed a three-game series sweep as they got past the Reds in Cincinnati, 3-2. The win could was get Cody Bellinger. Wouldn't want the him, Brewers though. combined for 10 hits as a team as they nabbed the win against the visiting Cubs. Get Nubs, Mookie Betts for Ramon Lariano. Only allowed two hits in the game as they defeated the visiting Yankees what? four to two. The Giants knocked out 12 hits as a team as That's they got a road yet. win against Arizona six to five. Thanks for tuning in today. We'll be back here tomorrow and all season long. What? They would trade us Mookie Betts. For Ramon Lariano? He's like one of the best pitchers in the whole league. Look at Kershaw, man. Jesus. I almost want to do that, but don't even need Mookie Bats. By the time he would come up and be good for us, it would be done anyway. Alright, Padres. 
Now they have some good prospects here. Mackenzie Gore, CJ Abrams. So I want to try to get as many prospects from them as I can. How much do you think I lose Tatis by? James Woods. Okay. Look at this guy. 17 today sucks. Okay, so they want them him and Montez. I think I might do this. Good fielder. I think he's gonna be decent power too. I mean, a uh, bat too. Probably shouldn't be in the majors already though. I think I'm gonna do this trade. I like it. We did it. There's our first. There's our first prospect trade. So we're gonna go back and view our trade block again. Wait, didn't I just trade some? Who did I just trade? <laughs> I just traded Sean Murphy. I might have just made a mistake. I might have to back out again. Oh, Ramon Lariano. I don't care about that. That's fine. That still works for me. You know, honestly, I probably could trade Sean Murphy to the Yankees and get some prospects because they are in desperate need for catching, right? see what the catchers look like 194 134 and hasn't played yet so so far I can get Jason Dominguez I could probably get Volpe as well there you go trade away the farm, but I get Volpe Paraza, move Paraza to second, Volpe stays a short, and we got Jason Dominguez, <sighs> digging it so far, we're going to have to go sign some free agents though, okay, Who else? Look at this. Now we got some really good catching prospects. Tony Kemp. We could try to trade Tony Kemp, Jed Lowry. Who's the one everybody wanted? Chad Pinder. What do you think I got to do? You wonder Franco. Nothing? Because why the hell would they trade him? What? Okay, well, we just got Bo Bichette, too. What? Of course I'll do that trade. They don't have any multi-year deals in this entire team. I just realized that. Every single person's a one-on-one. -on -one. That's insane. Okay, let's just package these three together and let's just keep just keep moving see what else we can get there's Chad right I guess not no he has that yeah he threw through Chad they threw like a hundred oh whoops there's a lefty that threw like a hundred and something Okay. Can't do anything there. I won't take any of those fat contracts on anyway.
One day. One day he will be mine. I like Jad's Chisholm a lot. What do you think we can give up to get Jad's Chisholm? I don't think we have anything on this team we can give up. I think... I just like Jazz Chisholm. That's the only reason I would want to go for him. I'm trying to think of other prospects. I mean, oh. This one's actually possible. With the right addition here. I don't know, I thought Lou Trevino. Oh, I would be willing to do this. Because we have two other prospects waiting in the wings here already. Although he does have the best contact of the three. But to get Julio Rodriguez. Okay. Let's do it. All right, we made a lot. Of, we just made a lot of moves. <laughs> so we need to go through. First of all, make sure everybody we want in the majors is in the majors. We need to put people in the majors. I may have to sign some guys to one-year deals. some of these guys down for one more year like leave him oh it's Jason Dominguez no he can he can come up but leave like Abrams down for one more year and Volpe obviously needs a couple more years Peraza should already be just be down in the minors I don't know why he's in the majors I guess Abrams can stay up I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do. I got way too many shortstops. <laughs> you guys want to trade some? Leave it for a second. Let's go to free agents. Give him as much as he wants. We're going to sign him for one year anyway. starters here. I saw one I'm definitely interested in here. He sucks, but there's Chad. Okay. One. Two. Oh, yeah, you can bring him up. I guess that is a guy I just signed. Three. Four. Six. He could be sent down. If there's problems with it, I'm just gonna let the the game deal with it. Is there another one?
almost done here. <clears throat> okay. Now we should be set. Obviously, it's going to need to fix some lineups. What? That literally wasn't just there. No, they have 26. What? Whatever, you know what? I'll just send... Easy enough, right? Okay, I don't know what's going on there, so just let the computer handle that. Okay, so there's a minor leaguer, definitely. And they want that for the third baseman, Sheldon Nurse. I'm going to do that. I don't mind that one. Okay, what's next here? Minor league third baseman. Oops. B21 for Seth Brown. I'm going to do that one as well. I wonder who our one all-star was. Just take bets. Okay, a minor league center fielder. He's a B, he's 21 for Jed Lowry. Sounds good. CJ Crone gets traded. Roth Devers. I feel like Roth Devers gets traded in every single franchise I've ever done. Okay, so we're definitely going to finish with over 100 losses, which is good. We'll get a high pick, not the number one pick. month left. I don't really care who they call up. Alright. So no one's going to make the playoffs. We finished 58 and 104. Let's see how some people did. Shall we? Bovashed actually finished terribly. 246, 22 dingers. Julio, it was okay because that was his rookie season. Mackenzie Gore, 6 and 14 with a 5'8. 3 and 8, 3 and 7, 4 and 3, 6 and 10. Only that's the only on ERA under 5. Tis rough. Okay. He got called back up. What are you going to do? All our catchers are pretty bad. 218. This guy got called up at 258. Brett Harris gets called up <laughs> all the way to the majors. Let's see how he did in the minors. Um, he should be able to see, right? I guess you got to send him down to see it. It's fine. Uh, we already talked about Bichette. Looks like he got called back up. Uh, CJ Abrams, that is. Patch, 244. Only 13 steals. Uh, 235. This guy, 234. So the team was bad. The team was really bad. Oh, wait, there's one more thing. Looks like we won an award. Rookie of the year. That makes sense. 17 home runs, you know. Guardians defeated the Cubs? Is this the same 2022? Bizarre. Bizarre stuff. Okay. So all these guys gone. The Cleveland Guardians How do you finish? Win against the visiting Cubs, he finished 4-0. Oh. It has been a storybook season He's for gone. them, and they will look to repeat as champions next year. I want. I was going 
gonna say I want the biggest name out there. I don't know who this is. I want him for a long time. I want him to be my manager. Let's go. That's not all we're gonna do though. You're gone, gone. Those three can stay. So we need a new hidden coach. I guess he's pretty good, huh? None of these guys have any like, I don't really know how you're supposed to. I don't really know how you're supposed to like judge these guys. Like I like to judge it by the amount of negatives they have, but I don't really know. The best way to do it is, okay. So there is something I wanted to do. I wanted to change where the team plays. Don't know if I can though. I'm playing on an old system, by the way, so. I just hate the Oakland Stadium, it's so ugly. Um, I'd rather play in the Metrodome <laughs> in there. I was thinking to just play the Field of Dreams. Never see games at the Field of Dreams anyway. We can go through some other ones though, check out. See if there's any really nice ones. I like this one, this is a minor league stadium, obviously. Um, this one's kind of cool, but it's not really Oakland. That one's kind of Oakland. That one's definitely not Oakland. I don't really care what the capacity is either, to be honest. But that one's, I mean, Oakland's a city, so... This one's like small town-ish. That one's definitely ain't, that's not it, that's not it. I love this one. That's like if we were in Utah, this is the stadium. That's beautiful. I hate this stadium though when you play uh, Grow to the Show. I feel like it's always my home stadium. It's just so hard to hit it out. That one's pretty nice. This one's a great one. This one's a nice home run park. Oak Street Park for the Oakland days. Not bad. Capital Field, obviously not. Crystal Falls. This is one of my favorite ones in the entire game for the minor leagues. Ten. This one's really nice. Okay, so we've been through all of them. Obviously, neither of those are going to do it. These are the classic ones. Um, obviously, we can't do that one. There's literally a <laughs> Cardinals logo in the corner. Polo Grounds, obviously. If we had a fast team, that'd be perfect. I don't really want to do that, though. I don't really want to use a classic stadium. Just, uh... Doesn't feel right, unless it was something... I would have moved them to Montreal, called them the Expos, and played in that one, but they don't have that. This is the only one I really think about. It's it's gotten even worse. First of all, it says it opened in 1989. That's BS. Because the field they opened in 1989 is back. You can see it back on in the corner. It's cool that they added that. The original Field of Dreams in the background. Alright, so we're definitely going with the Minor League Stadium. Because they seem to have the best capacity of all these. I really like this one. I just don't like the walls. What was another one I really liked? I like this one a lot. This might be, this might be the one right here. It's gonna look so dumb playing in a minor league stadium like this, but playing in Oakland is no better, so. In the Coliseum. Let's see what the Coliseum. Coliseum holds 46. Though. We'll just play in the Coliseum. After all that, I don't even do it. Okay, and manager. There you go. We got all our guys. Okay, so the catcher has to be put on. That starting pitcher has to be put on. Let's let's just do, let's start with the 
Hatcher. Hoagland. I don't think he'd be taken, though. It's fine. We'll just add him. I don't think any of these guys are going to be taken if they're not on the 40-man. And I guess if they are, it doesn't really matter. So we're good. So what did he make last year? I'm going to go with 3 million. I'm actually going to go with 3.3 .3 million. Now, I don't want anyone else here. AJ Puck, that's another one of my guys. I don't want anyone else here. But I will make an offer to him. I feel like you might just accept that offer, to be honest with you. And tender contracts. Okay, so I'm a big fan of giving guys five years for a couple, like three million when they're young. somebody <laughs> okay so this one 2.8 for five years keep a team together for a little bit try to build them up and then go from there you know Jason Dominguez let's go by position it'll be a lot easier to do it that way is he worth keeping I don't think Brett Honeywell is worth keeping his velocity sucks now too What this guy do? Awful. All right, later. Where'd the music go? It's disappeared. So there's some guys I'm just not going to bring back. There's no reason to. These guys that you guys signed for multiple years and stuff. Honestly, there's no reason to bring anyone in this system back. The team's so terrible. Oh, the music's back. Anyone that wants like a lot of money or multiple years. Unless there's someone that's like a key cog in the team. Which most of these guys aren't. So my plan for this one is to call up a lot of those young guys, right, while at the same time, oh, I haven't offered either of these guys. Call up some of these guys while also I'm going to try to sign like a free agent or two here that can really help the team and, oops, I'll withdraw that one. And I actually want to try to compete this year. So, stick with me here. We'll be through this soon enough. So we're going to see how we can compete by... Oops. We're going to see how we can compete by looking at who's major league ready and comparing that with who is in free agency. We'll get a lot of like veterans and stuff and short contracts. And we are going to build through free agency while also just building our minor leagues. The reason that first year is just such a throwaway. If I sign up for 2.5, I can have for his whole career. Will I regret that? Very possibly. But I'll take my Gonzaga guy. For people that 
just joined or don't know or weren't following or whatever, fast forward through whatever you did. But Harris is a Gonzaga guy. He's the only Gonzaga guy that I personally know that's in the game, so I want to keep him around. Now, this doesn't do any favors really for you. Like, it's not like I do that and he's in, then like more loyal or anything. I just enjoy doing that so I can really figure out how I want to build my team. That takes 700,000 for 15 years. Now that sounds crazy. I think I'm going to do that. I can easily just tra trade him if I want. And... If he comes good, I have him forever. And then I can always just keep him in the minors and he can just keep it, you know, keep that. I don't know. For some reason, that may not have been the best trade, but. Or the best move, but, you know, I don't really care. Alright, Peraza, I'm not going to do the five years with because he's nowhere near ready. charge my laptop I know you're like why aren't you charging it streaming you're not charging your laptop everyone makes bad decisions okay it's charging now I think I already did his I don't even know if I want this dude. So he's again someone I'm gonna. I'm not gonna sign him to a long term contract. I don't even really know if I want him on my team. Well, that's a sweet name. So we don't really have too many major league ready players. We just have to resign our entire team, don't forget. I don't want him. Okay. So I just don't think he's going to be ready by the time we need him. Let's start with Clevenger. We'll bring him in on a one year. Just pretty high contract, but just for one year. Really anchor that rotation. Do the same thing with him. Although he only wants 11. You know what I'll do? I'll give him two years. A club option. So that gives us two guys that can kind of anchor. I'm probably going to try to sign a lot of my guys towards the end. Some of these guys are, are qualified, but they're not given their contract. Okay, so that's all we're going to do for now because we're not going to sign Judge. There's no reason to sign Judge. Definitely don't want to sign Gallo. Don't need a shortstop. We don't need any infielders really except for first baseman. First base. I think we can wait on it. We're, we're going to wait on everything. We're going to, we offered our guys. We're not going to go up or down. That's going to be our final offer. And if we get them, we get them. Oh, Taylor Rogers is already not not interested. Aaron Nola to the Cardinals. That's who was the leading team. Okay, so there might be new free agents. Let's see. Turner. So 
So we're still in the lead on all the guys we wanted. Taylor Rogers has some giant deals out there. You know, it's funny as Chris Bass uh, Bassett was with us, traded him, going to get him back. That's funny. Gallo to the Orioles would be surprising. I have a feeling we're going to get some really good. Um, there we go, Edwin Diaz. There's our first free agent signing. Now we really got to pay attention because people are going to come in like vultures. Is there one more big pitching free agent that's out there? No. Looks like the big free agent everybody's going after is Sevy. So once Sevy falls, I think we're going to see people trying to grab. He didn't sign yet. Try to turn to the Pirates. They will Neil Cruz. All right, so 30. But we, I don't mind doing that. Wait, two years, 30? Oh, that's wait. Let's see. Because I'd have to give him a little more. We'll just call him the ace. He's not interested in that contract at all. So we're still going with Bissette. Let's go with Jameson Tyon for one year. Sunny Gray back in the A's uniform. I don't want to bring him back. All right, so let's see what happens there. Okay. Don't tell me. Oh, should have looked. Okay, so we lost the set. I may have to jump in on Mike Clevenger now. 9.9. Wow, he just really doesn't want to come back here. I could put it that he's going to be the ace. Because he is going to be the ace. <laughs> Did we get... Did we get Jamison Tyon? We didn't. What the heck happened there? There's really no reason to overspend on any of these guys, though. Because we're not going to be that good anyway this year. We're just kind of trying to compete. I just need a couple guys to fill out the rotation a little bit. I should honestly look, but I'm going to wait until we get a little further along. Well, let's, let's see who's in the Rule 5 draft. Davidson's the best shortstop. That's our guy. So we'll see if we even have him after this. Eh, there's not really... Oh, Davidson to the red. So we lost Logan Davidson. It's okay, though. He's a shortstop. 25. Wasn't probably much room for him on the roster anymore anyway. Oh, let's check the trade block a little bit. Oh, there's nothing there. You Darvish. May not be the worst trade to make. Tim Anderson to Seattle. Josh Bell to Houston. Gallo to the Twins. So there's still some names out there, even. Alright, so let's go through the team. Let's see who's Major League ready. We have... <laughs> seven starters on our entire team so we're going to have to do some free agent signing afterwards as well um, he's ready for the majors gives us two solid relievers we definitely need relief pitchers I think these this can be the catching duo in the majors have to get a first baseman Let's look at second baseman as well. Third base, definitely. Well, I guess... Well, 
Okay, so Abrams can play second. That's fine. Volpe is not ready. So we don't, we need a third baseman. He's fast too, isn't he? Is he a better fielder? Considering moving him over, but he's so fast. <laughs> but it might just be the move. Although I don't think, I think Jason Dominguez can use one more year in the minors. Maybe all these guys can. He's one more year in the minors. So let's move him. What did he bat last year? 244. I'd rather try to trade him and just get two outfielders in the corners. Okay. One year. We need a top starter here. We have one starter, so. Maldonado and Yadier Molina. No, we have to get him. There's not really any, not really any options here. That way, it can happen for one year, and then if I need to, I can let him bounce. It's just a Turner, Josh Fuentes. Didn't he have a good year? No, he was definitely projected to at one point. Try for Matt Duffy and then put him at third. Mitch Haniger. I'm a fat one year contract. But he can't really field. We'll do David Peralta for one year because he can't really field. That's not good. Okay. So we have a bunch of guys offered. So he signed somewhere. He's not with us. We got Sonny Gray. Got Mitch Haniger, obviously. That's not a surprise at all. Whit Merrifield's out there. Talk about falling off. Didn't get him either. I know I'm kind of just flying through some of these. I like McCutch, but he's just, he can't field. I need somebody that can field. Looks like Lorenzo Cain might be it. Okay, so we either got all the people we wanted or they're no longer in free agency. So let's see what we got here. We got Martinez, we got Belt, we got Gray, we got Hanniger, Julio, Duffy, Iglesias. So a couple of these guys 
I got for a reason here. So he could play third. I see how he has a third now. 74. What was he before? Who knows? Okay, Iglesias. I got. I think I might have him play second and then send Abrams back down for a year. I'm going to Glacius play second base. Duffy, Bichette, Martinez. Oh, we didn't get that other outfielder. But we got Hanniger, so we'll put him in left, and he can be our starting left fielder. And he'll DH. And then we got Belt. The two catchers, I, I'm going to have to go sign some just cheap pitchers. Oh, here we go. We, we got a couple of, we got two of them. Four, one, two, three, four. Oh, we got Wayne right. F screw it. He's going he's gonna to pitch for us. <laughs> that might be the guy I pitch with, which I'll tell you about in a minute. So the next thing we're going to have to do, I have to go get a bunch of really cheap pitchers. Guess I could just do this. Accomplish the same thing, doesn't it? Is Matt Harvey. Got arrested for cocaine. I like this guy's name. Oh, I don't like how much I gotta pay him. <laughs> I don't like his name that much. Brad Batch is a real person, so this picture stroke. You know, honestly. Better than what we got. Bullpen is rough. These are all real people. I don't know when it stops. Tyler Webb's a real person. These are all real people. This isn't. Yes, it is. Oh, no. There we go. I saw, I saw, I saw. Closers. Bullpen is awful, but it's okay. My God, this dude's tall. Look at this. It's out of the thing. Okay, so in a minute, we should have a full roster. Yeah, much fuller roster, I should say. Okay. So now what I like what I like to do here is once this is all done by the way we shouldn't have to do this as much. This is kind of like the first round when I go through franchise mode of what I like to do. One, two, three, four, five. There should be one more probably in the majors. I might go sign somebody. So then, one, two, three, four, six, one, two, three. I don't know who this is, but he's going down to double A and he's going off. I don't know, don't designate. We move him from that. Four. Five, and they have six there. It's fine. One, two, three, four, five. 
We don't need six, though, right? Bard's control. Smith's control. There's not a big difference. Get there eventually. One, two, three. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifty-five with no oh, he has no velocity. Sorry, Joe Smith. Okay. Two one. We're gonna have such good catching core. Two one, two. Just need one there. Triple A. Double A, double A. Single A. That's good. Yeah. It's a double A. Class A. Class A. That's good. Move him to triple A. That's fine. Brett Harris can stay in the majors, honestly. I'm okay with that. How do you do in the majors? Nothing. He hasn't even played yet. All right, we're gonna get his first hit. Triple A, triple A, double A, double A. Does he play third base? How bad does he get at third? What was he at short? He was around the same. 64, 65, he goes down one. So we're gonna put him at third. Perfect. Okay, so triple A, double A, double A. Class A, class A. Okay. Double A, er, yep, yep, yep. Triple A, double A, MLB. Triple A, MLB, yeah. Triple A, double A. Sorry, Tim LaCastro. Triple A, triple A. I need three more from Triple A still. How many pitchers did I give him? Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh, I never did closers. Put him in double A and put him in single A. Okay. So Five, one, two, three, four, five, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Is that true? I have four closers in the MLB? Yeah. Oh, but one's not there for long. Why don't we back out and come back so we can see this? Okay, so in three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. He's got thirteen. Okay. Six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so the worst. I want one more free agent. Just somewhere that kind of plays everywhere. D Gore might be better just because he's just faster. Okay. Well, 
Why'd they even try with them? Okay, now there's too many in triple A. Send down to double A and to double A. Class A. Class A. I think that's good right there, and I think that's a full ass roster. Actually, I want to see what they would come up with and then go from there. Okay. So that's not it. <laughs> I think I have him at second. Bichette at short. Um, Matt Duffy at third. Henniger, Julio, Patch. Against righties, it should probably be this catcher. Oh my goodness, look at this. All that work I just did. They just sent everybody back up. That's really sad. One, two, three, four. Five. Everyone else is the same. One, two, three, four. Alright, they didn't do too bad. Three, four, five. Okay, one, two, that's correct. I want him in triple A. I want Peraza in double A. Okay. I don't know who Nick Allen is, but I want him in single A. Those are correct. Triple A. It's just gonna, it's gonna have to go because I need three and triple A. Did I lose players? <laughs> no, you know it's gonna happen. It's sim a little bit because the waivers are gonna take place and it's gonna say I have too many. Oh, let's do some contracts. If we have anybody worth a damn. Uh, we don't, so. Okay. So there's the team. That's what we're looking like. I'll have to go fix some stuff, but. Then we'll go over what we're doing here. I like all those scouts. Okay, let's go through the lineups again here. Not the worst. This is against righties. Oh, we suck against righties. Yeah, that's correct. You want to have the guys you want playing in. Because if you don't, then it affects their overall. I actually forgot I was on Twitch for a second there. It's like, wait, why am I talking? Yeah, all right, my flow 
this whole time on Twitch, what's it been? It's been almost an hour and a half, and there's been no gameplay, and it's like, what the heck? But we're about to get to some, don't worry. And this will all make sense at that point. Okay. He's better against lefties. He's the only one. He's the only one that can. There's no one on our bench that can come off the bench and hit. So, um, I want him to lead off. Bichette up here. Belt drops a little bit against lefties. Okay. Sunny Gray at the top. I think Mackenzie Gore is the next best. Daniel Barr, Charlie Morton, Adam Wainwright. Back into the bullpen is not too bad. And the starting is... No, that's pretty bad. <laughs> I was thinking, like, I have some prospects. I could probably trade for a starter. Maybe I'll try to do that before the season starts here. Like, I definitely have the the means to go get one really good starter. I just gotta figure out who it would want to be. They never, I can never get him from them. All right, we're just gonna go with what we got for now. So after all this, we're finally done, right? Um, so what my plan is, I don't wanna play every single game. Um, that would just take too long. I will play opening day because it's opening day, but I will probably pick one pitcher that I want to have a good year with. I'm kind of thinking Adam Wainwright just because he's probably going to reply up. Oh, well, I guess I'm not playing opening day because I just messed up and hit triangle. So I won't be playing with Adam Wainwright for his, at least his first start. But so what I'm thinking of doing is um, playing with just one pitcher. I, I think it's going to be Adam Wainwright. I think I'm going to do it with Adam Wainwright. Um, so I'll play every Adam Wainwright start of the season. So that gives about 30 games. And then I might play here and there some other ones. Um, but I think this is what I'm going to do. So we're going to go to the, the Kansas City game. They took down the visiting... No idea what the record is. We can back out and see. So we lost that next game to Houston. Beat Kansas City here, which was Kansas City's home opener. David Price got the win there. Chris Archer's looking good so far in the season. And then Charlie Morton took the loss here. So now we're up to this Adam Wainwright start. Now, there's a good chance Wainwright won't be part of the team the whole time. We're going to do those. So I think I'm going to go with the black jerseys and hats. They don't really match as well on that, but you know, I don't really care. And we're always going to do the show theme. We'll do the show theme, and we'll do a little hybrid so we get a little more of a broadcast feel to it. Obviously, I will have a lot of commentary over this game. Duffy, Martinez, Belt, Bo. That's the lineup we're sending out there. So you can see a, a really good mix of the young studs and the guys that are going to be one and dones and waiting for the next ones to go. So exciting stuff. So we're playing our first game versus Carlos Hernandez. Now, full disclosure, I'm not the greatest at this game, so this could go many different ways. No guest pitch. I'm trying not to do guest pitch. I used to do it all the time. I'm trying not to do guest pitch anymore. Um, just because I want to get better at the game. So after this game, I'm probably going to call it a day. But... We finally got to our first game. Now this franchise is really going to be kicking. So, you got to stand here. Who's throwing out the first pitch, you think? Well, they did an awful job. <laughs> who, do you think it, who do you think that is? That'd be cool if they put, like, legit celebrities and stuff in there. 
That'd be really cool. I've never seen him throw at the first pitch. I never really usually watch the first one. So, I right, so we got Carlos Hernandez on the mound against us. They should have wore the gold striping. That would have been dope. Okay, and here we go. First game of the year for us. Make contact, going back on it, but nothing doing. So I'm not going to be too good. I'm really going to play my type of baseball and hope for the best. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about Look at, <laughs> what's that, Camposano? Camposano batting 067. Once did, but they've got the wisdom <laughs> to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the... They have a really cool scoreboard effect the in the back there. You can see, like, the at-bat so points like down. That's super sick. The ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. A little late on that. Probably would have hit it better if I wasn't so late. I believe we're very righty heavy. Here is JD Martinez swinging the bat well in the series, five for twelve so far. Okay. So I would say this was our second. Well, I guess I guess Diaz was our biggest signing. This is our second biggest signing. Kind of makes me think of Albert Pujols, who has been called the machine at times during his career. I venture to say you could put JD Martinez in that same category, at least the way he approaches his craft. And the pitch. Just misses with that one. <sighs> Spit on that one. When they won it all in 2018, Ian Kinsler called him the mad scientist. So maybe the machine and the All right. This is good at bat right here. This is what we needed. A couple pitches seen. Righty delivers. And he gets a. Oh. Almost got a base hit. But that was good at bat. That's exactly what we needed. Oh, look at this. Lots. Oh my god, that popcorn's going straight through her chest. <laughs> Here we go. Adam Wayne right time. They think Nicky Lopez is going to bunt. I can tell you right now, I don't know what overall it's on. It's probably on veteran. Um... That's well, usually what I play online with, so I don't play online a lot, but when I do, it's usually better. And videotape their batting practices. Oh! Something we're seeing more and more teams do oh. now, so that guys can have instant the strike before the game blue. starts. The pitch stays alive. Here's a one-two. This is always my worry. Is that you're just gonna pitch a bunch of pitches and they're just gonna foul off every single one? Good eye right there. Well, he might have to look for a different two two. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it time this sucks. To be ready for it. Next offering is foul back. He's already thrown eight pitches in this at bat. And then he gets a freaking base hit. base hit. Out of the center field. So that's not the way you want to start. If Wainwright doesn't go long in this, we're 100% going to look for a, uh, a, 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 a fifth pitcher. So they're, they're really saying this guy is going to... They say he's going to run. I just pressed the wrong button there. They think he's going to run. They think he's going to bunt. Let's see how good he is. Got him. Got him. Love it. So that's that young... That's that young gun right there. Smoking Nicky Lopez. Changes the offensive approach moving forward. Two 
Ow, oh my goodness. All these foul balls. There we go. Now two away. I mean, there aren't many curveballs in the sport today that break like that thing does. Huge movement. It's so Ben and Tendi's someone I'd always be interested in getting. It's not as young as as you'd hope for someone you want to go get. It's funny that we're kind of playing money ball with the A's, but when you really think about it, we're not playing. We're not playing money ball at all. We just signed a bunch of guys one year at the highest price. <laughs> there we go. Thank Cam. What we got? She's going through the chair too. They're all going through the chairs. What the hell? Why would they give me this option? <laughs> see how badly designed it is. Alright, let's see what we can do offensively. Oh, smoked. So there's our first hit in this franchise. Brandon Belt smokes a hanging curveball. Now, can people, anyone bring him in is the question. Not great. In the OBP department. Fouled off. Is fouled off. Almost got to it. Fastball was about 98, so it's a chucker. On the ground. Mondesi handles the chance. Fires I like how he faked One the run and second. went back. That was nice. He would have been smoked going to third. He's very slow, but. Now batting Mitch Hanniger. Making some contact, that's a good start. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we are smoking the ball. Just not getting just not getting good contact. We're finding open spots. There we go. Yeah, he's not gonna score though, he's too slow, but that's still perfect timing. Love to see it. Another hanger. So we're on the curveball. That's good. Oh. Pops it up. It's a fastball right down the middle. There's a fastball right down the middle, and it's a good timing. And he popped it up to short. If that's not classic MLB The Show, I don't know what is. So if you're just joining, are you fast forward? I can explain kind of where we're at. So, I started this franchise. What an awful pitch. Started the franchise. We started in... You know, 2022 with the A's. Traded basically everybody. Montez, Sean Murphy, Ramon Lariano. If you were on the team and you were on old, over 25, you were gone, right? So then we got a bunch of prospects. A lot of them aren't even up yet. And then the offseason, we signed a bunch of really good veterans to one-year deals. J.D. Martinez. Um... And you can't make contact. Excuse me? Takes a ball Excuse me? In now. They called that a ball? The next pitch anyway. And oh. Um, Wainwright. We got Sonny Gray back on a one-year deal. A um... Who else? We signed about Matt Duffy... Hit hard on the ground is and those guys are kind of just place holders for the young guys. So, um, what was I going to say there? What was I saying? Oh, what we're doing. So we're in 2023 now, one year into the um, into the game, and we're playing our first game. So what we're going to do is we're going to play one pitcher each single time. So right now we're Joe's Wainwright. 
could change in the season. I could get bored with Wainwright, or Wainwright can really suck, or maybe we trade for another pitcher and Wainwright's going to get pushed out of rotation. Oh. Driven down the line. So, that's how it's going to go. And a 1-1. Late. Super late on that. His vision must be terrible. 56. Vision makes the ball come in faster or slower. So we have two hits so far. Unfortunately, it did not come in a run. We got a double with Brandon Belt to lead off the last the inning. No score. Then Julio Rodriguez got a single, but Matt Duffy's slow. Lifted in the air, right center field. Dozier on the move. Falls it in, two away. We're making good con Like, literally, we, we're hitting the good meter, but we're popping them up. That's just classic, the show. Next up for the A's, I told myself Blazers. I'm not going to get upset about that anymore in the, in the show because it happens all the time. Line to left, and he pulls up on it, and that's a hit. Nice hit there. That's going to bring up J.D. Martinez. So that's a good sound coming we're on the ball. Man. That's and the best part. Wow. The bottom of the zone is non-existent to this umpire. That's not good. I'm a very low ball pitcher. Iglesias off of first with two away. Oh, good pitch. Good changeup. He's one of the best fastball hitters in the game. Yeah, some guys are concerned about velocity, but and I called that one a strike. I left it. I didn't think it was gonna be a strike. And a pitch. Oh. That one on the move. That one I was just a little, a little late on. on that one. A little bit late on. Is that one left for Oakland? And welcome back. And now the right fielder. Can't guarantee Hunter anything, Dozier. but I can almost guarantee we're Wainwright going to score to some runs in the next two innings. Out towards right center field, Rodriguez. As he glides to his left. So Rodriguez isn't a good fielder, but he's fast, which is awesome. And a quick out number one. Colin Moran now at the plate. Swinging a hot bat in the series. He's got seven base hits coming in. Well, and there's a fly ball deep right field. We better score those runs because I don't think Wainwright's going to be part of this rotation too long. He just doesn't. He's just not too good. I mean, I put that. I think I put that in the high inside corner, and it was right down the middle. The next offering misses. And now 2 and 0. Oh. I'm actually. What are they saying? Bounce to the right side. What a play. And they get the what out. a play. Stop right there. It gets the out. Great reactions. Excellent job of finishing the play with a nice, easy throw. Nikki Lopez up to the play. Probably should not have happened, but I will 100% take it. And that's in there for strike one. I'm surprised they called that a strike. So Nicky Lopez is one for one. He had a nine pitch at bat last time. Tried diving, didn't do it. Right hander kicks deals. So this is what he did last time, too. I don't think Wainwright's going to be in this game too long. I might go to deep price. Just, he's about to get hit in the noggin. Nothing makes me up matter in this game other than popping up fastballs right down the middle. Then guys that you play in the computer and they foul off 77 straight pitches, it makes me hit them. I hit them eventually. So, so he's gotten two not. He's seen 18 pitches in this. Now he's seen. Now he's gonna have seen 19 pitches. Here's a one-two. 20 pitches. one-two misses to even the count. 
One pitch, one player seen. Twenty-one pitches. So they got their first run. I don't want to lose. I'll tell you that much. So. Oh, well, that should tie the game right there, right? Is it not going to make it? <gasps> it didn't make it. Almost a loud start to the inning on that first pitch. Man, he's going to want that one back. Wow. I can't believe that didn't make it out. Ah, oh, swung late. That was bad. I can't believe that didn't make it out. I really can't believe that didn't make it out for a home run. That should have been a home run. Mitch Hanniger, up next for the A's. Just two for 15 in the series. There we go. Mitch Hanniger, perfect timing, went with the power swing, went with the complete pull. Ties this game up. His first homer of the year, it's tied So that's our first home run in this franchise right there. There we go. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had a That's what we wanted to do right there. He went and got it and circled the bases. So Kansas City is expected to win. Julio Rodriguez. In there and it's on one. I think I'm gonna look to hit some home runs here. Next if I look to hit home back. runs and I swing at some of these pitches I'm swinging at, I will be hitting them out more. Yeah, the righty deals. In the air, out to center. Who's their center fielder? Look at who's gliding. Doesn't matter. Tied this baby up. All even at one apiece. See what Wayne Wright can do here in the uh, fourth. And now the center fielder, Michael A. Taylor. And here it comes. Up the middle. You know the craziest part is with Wayne Wright right now is most of his outs I think are strikeouts. I think he has like five strikeouts. I want to talk about getting lucky. And a couple of quick outs. That's getting lucky right there. Really, really lucky. Gotta be careful with this guy. He's got power. He can untie it with one swing. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. Looks like we're playing him on the uh on the pole. Check swing, but he went too far. He went too far. It was right down the middle. It's a strike no matter what. All right, let's see. The one, two. He struck him out. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. Back here in Kansas City. Okay. Christian so we have the bottom of the lineup. Then we're going to try to score some more runs, baby. Ooh, change up. Really good change up. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. I actually don't think. I think that was the first change up he's thrown in this entire game. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Oof. He's a little out front, but did a good job keeping the hands back long enough to foul that pitch off. At the belt and fires. So far, the second best at bat. <laughs> Seeing four, oh, five pitches. In the air, right field. Not gonna lie, I just wanted to foul that off. I'm a little upset that he hit it. I definitely did not want to hit that ball. And now the catcher comes up to him, Luis Campusano. Oh. Second round pick in 2017. In the air, out towards left center. 
Wow. Can't believe that's not a better hit. Remember when I could have traded Ramon Lariano for Mookie Betts? What the hell was that about? And now it's Matt Duffy. Four for 13 in the series entering this one. Nice. That's, I think, four perfect swings now in this game, which is huge. I'll stay right there. We've been close at third, but I think you would have been, think you would have been smoked. He's jogging around the bases rather than pulling up at second. Jose Iglesias gets a chance to hit now. Ah, uh, is that going to get down? I don't think so. Oh, it does. Uh-oh. He's in there. Let's go. That's good. That's huge. That's huge. I didn't. I can't believe that got in. I did not think that was going to get in. So well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Martinez. Let's call the ball. That's good. Takes ball one. Oh. That sucks. A little bit late on that. Damn. Alright, so we took the lead. Wayne right now has a lead. He can, he can get through this, this inning and we don't give up the lead. He can get the win. And there's the strike. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. That's because it's his best pitch, apparently. Well, it's not apparently. I'm Wayne Wright's best pitch is his curveball. See ya. Number six. That's what I was saying. A lot of strikeouts in this game for him. Is he the DH? If he's their DH, they, uh... It's not a good thing for their lineup. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And there are two Pitching on veteran, I may the have to go up one. To dish. Back to back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling Maybe in. Maybe not. I don't know. I did give up a home run and a base hit. Like. Well, we'll hold that thought as that's the third. I also don't want to lose every game because I can't pitch, so. Top half of inning number six. All right, we're going to try for a home run with him in the beginning here. With the right hater back to work. Ah, I'll give him a base hit at least. A little late. I think that was a breaking ball. I was just trying to go for a fastball. I had to sit back on it a little bit. And the batter will be the shortstop, Bobichet. Five for fourteen in the series coming in. Players one. There's another one. Might be seeing a new pitcher soon, which would be fantastic. There it is. Didn't have to wait that long, huh? Uh oh. Oh! That's lucky. <laughs> I know Julio's got some power against lefties here. That was a nasty breaking ball, by the way. That was disgusting. That should be extra bases, right? Yep. Oh, that's another run right there. That's a trip. That's a trip. I wonder if they call that an error. I wonder if it's a single and an error if they give him the triple. Let's see. They gave him the triple. Let's go. First triple. He doesn't have that much power against lefties, actually. Not as much as I thought. It's going to be another run. Wisdom on the first. So we took a huge lead here. So 
This one. This one's definitely gotten better. First pitch just misses. Activity in the Kansas City bullpen. Nick Margavichis, the lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Pyant. Get through. We're starting to really rake now. Pitch was on the outside, didn't go the other way with it, but still a nice Went to the middle. Using the big part of the field to find a hole. Oh, no way he hits swung it well. so late. They get one. Then no way they get two. Yeah. Swung super late though. That was bad. It's inside. This is where he makes his money and he gets out. 90 contact against lefties though. Fat inning there. Moran hit the home run. Um, make it that made it one nothing at the time. Swing and a high fly ball Probably could hit a second home run there. Should have this one. And it was kind of hung. One up, one down. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. So Wayne Wright at 60 pitches, only averaging. Think of it, he's averaging 10 pitches in that bat right now. He has one pitcher, one batter he's thrown 21 pitches to. Alone. Oh, and two now. Swings and misses two away down. Before that at bat, I don't know if you saw the big board. Mind the seat is batting 038 before that at bat. That's bad. Nicky Lopez is 179. And I gave up base hit to him. And here he is. Fallon this BS off again. And he'll one. Nice catch. Nothing doing for the Royals. The lead remains five. Thank Cam. Let's see. Did the legs go through the seats here? No, but his, his food definitely went through the seats. Look at that. His food's through seats. Those guys are programmed better. Welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. Now the eight. We're gonna try to hit some dongs. JD Martinez. Oh. And there's a foul ball. I was late on a 90 on our festival. Oh, it was early? What? Here comes a pinch. And a foul ball. Power is non existent anymore. He's not going to be a good DH for the full year. And he deals. Going to count one and two. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0 2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. This one smoked out to left. Not smoked and enough. Can be able to make the grab. And there's one down. It's all good, though. Oh, oh, oh. Bell will hit oh do you think he can hit lefties? We're going to find out. That one fouled okay, we fouled him off so we get to see. No. He's going to throw a high fastball. Oh, let's see how far we can hit it. Oh! Next offering is Early? Late. I didn't feel late. I do have to say that one that I said late, he's throwing them all 88 to 90, and that was 93, so. Next pitch misses, and the count is even two and two. That's oh. down the line. Makes the what was the exit velo on that? Had to have been high. Had to have been high. 111. Driven. That might be his first. Yep. Hit off the top of the wall and then went over. Rochette gets his first of, of our franchise play. And they add on. It's seven one. Can't believe we got Bo Bichette. For people that didn't see it, we got him for like nothing. 
I was just trying to get prospects and get rid of old guys. That's it for him. So the Royals bring on a new arm, Nick Margavichus. This is his fifth oh. of the year. Popped up in the end of oh. So then back to back. So they're up 7 to 1 now. There may be times where we get to this. I'm not going to do it this one because this is our first game playing, but there may be times where I just go to the end. But this one I won't do. Two and a half innings left. I may go to a new pitcher soon just because. I'm not really enjoying pitching with Wainwright, so we may have to pick a new pitcher, which is fine. That was said in the beginning that might be might be a new pitcher at some point. That should have been hit 600 feet. Also should have been fielded. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Just kept it simple. Played pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there was just no one there to knock it down. Left hand hitter waits. Is he late? The hell was that? Goes foul. And a pitch. On the ground could be two. There's one. And they turn. Nice. Good play, Iglesias. Two out, space is empty. Salvador Perez. Gotta love that. In for the Royals. In the air, fairly That'll do it. Field. So I'll probably get someone warm. The catch, and if and do it. he starts giving up hits, we'll Back get his, took Kansas us City. out. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Julio Rodriguez. All right. Let's see if we can hit our first with Julio. Got a rip foul. His vision is terrible. The old one is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Takes that the other way. Looking good so far. Julio's looking really good so far. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the um, cages. They think I'm going to steal it 7-1 to one in the 8th minute. always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. I like my dog. I, oh, no, here was I. And here is Christian Pache. I think I got traded again. In the air left field. Benintendi is there. Hey, got got Calls it in for the out. Got to it pretty well, just not just enough. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to Oof. the Oof. That would have been a double. Off. This dude's struggling at the plate. And a pitch. Rips one to right. But he's That's got two hits hit. today. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your Ah, uh, then I ruin it. Beats the second out there. And it's a then I just ruin it by swinging a ball 15 feet towards the ground. Back here at Kauffman Stadium, here's a big power threat. Patrick Wisdom. Wisdom has like no contact, but like massive power. And it's all in one. There you go, 46 to 86. That's righty on righty. I can't imagine when lefty on righty is. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. So clearly I probably have to boost pitching up a little bit. Everything's on veteran. Out to short. People are making contact, but just, I mean, you know what? This isn't the time to tell that. When I verse a team that's, like, actually respectable, or respectably good, we'll make that. Because I'm giving up a lot of hits. Which, I mean, to the Royals, like, 
I think I've given up five hits. Four hits. Alright. That'll probably do it for Wainwright. Maybe I'll give him one more opportunity. So it's first and second with only one away. Colin Moran gets a chance to hit here. First offering and it just misses. Excuse me? Listen, you can't call that a ball. <laughs> On second, Dozier at first, one gone. Next pitch is outside. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on, probably a challenge pitch coming. Ball next three. one misses, and that's ball three. three, three, ball, three. He's done. He's cooked. How many pitches has he? He hasn't had that many pitches, though. 84? I guess he is like 100. Maybe a two ball. Five. Let's go. Three. Let's go. And that'll do it for the inning. This one pretty well decided at this point. Do I have him try to finish the game? Let's keep my man warming up. Alright. We're gonna get my we're gonna get my guy Brett Harris his first hit. Doesn't look anything like him. And they need to have his name in here. I'll have to go fix that because his name is Brett Harris. <laughs> oh! Early. But he got his first AB, so there's that. Probably put Duffy at... Um, I'll put Duffy at uh, second. Move Harris over to third. Finish up this this game. Oh my goodness. Just so slow. Shook his head. This should be a fastball up. It was. Apparently pulled off of it. Nice grab on the run. And there's two away. So here's the cleanup hitter for Let's see if we can get another homer. First pitch and he just misses. What? You called that a ball? Ah, uh, cuz I was trying to pull it. Pretty deep. Not even close. Drops into the glove and that is Okay. One two scheduled to lead off the bottom of the ninth. It's the A7, and the Royals won. The right-hander back to work. Foul ball. So he has a silver defensive badge, which is crazy. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Okay. I'm going to give him one more hit. If he gives up one more hit... Then he's done. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. To first, might be two. And no, two we're not turning two down. on that. Not with Mondesi up there. Michael A. Taylor. Next pitch downstairs. That has so much break to it. Mondesi, the runner at second with one away. Swing and a bouncer. Toss the belt. Now only one out remaining. Okay, he needs one more out. Andrew Benintendi up to the plate. First pitch. He gets one more out. He saves strike. the pen. Lowers that ERA, even though I'm probably going to replace him. Let's see if he swings at this out of the zone. That one misses. <gasps> Oh, two curve right there. Oh. Expects that. Good job of just showing that confidence and trying to get back. Oh. What? Just one out away, trying to close it out. Oh, that's awful. That's awful. And that'll do it. The A's take this one in a blowout. Let's see what fresh the framer is. They're more than 60%. Complete game. So a lot of the pitching and defense ones are gonna pop up because I don't really play. I usually don't pitch or play defense when I play franchise mode. 
navigated through this ball game, a jam here, a jam there, but ultimately it was an outstanding outing. And a 7-1 finish in the All right. So, I'm going to let the highlight reel play while I talk about the top of it. Thank you if you watch. Thank you if you watched it in stream form. Um, I don't know why it's not telling you what happened, but that was the first run of the game. Made it one nothing. Here's a great defensive play. I guess I just want to talk over it. Um, what the plan is, is to continue doing franchise, but at the same time, um, continue to do the franchise, but also play some games. So if you watch this one, you're like, wow, there was no gameplay going on. That's not how it's going to, that's not how it's really going to be the whole time. It's definitely going to be much different than that as we go forward. Um, the highlight reel sucked, by the way. We scored seven runs and this, they showed one of them. Um, anyway, um, we're going to look to, um, we're going to look to just play games. So what I really want to do is I'm either going to play with one starter each time or play one game a week, not a week in real life, but a week in this franchise. So I can actually get out of here so we can get that more. They, oh yeah. I just showed the highlights. They showed the one home run. They didn't show Bichette's home run. Makes no sense. They showed the other home run, too. No sense, mate. Okay, so like that, I played. So I think I'm going to go week by week. We'll play one game a week with a different player each week. Um, I'm just not sure which games we'll play and stuff like that. If there's important series towards the end of the year... We might play some important series. Um, I'm going to try not to play this as I get off. I may try to trade for a fifth starter. So if I do that, the next video I do, we'll start with that fifth starter that I traded for. But um, probably this is where I'm going to end it for today. Um, and I don't know. There's no schedule of how this is going to go. Um, I may be on again tomorrow doing this and maybe post it again tomorrow or it may be next week or it may be a month from now i doubt that but um yeah it's been fun i hope you stayed around for as long as you could if you just skipped ahead to when i start playing that's fine um whatever you want to do so thank you for joining thank you for watching uh should be back videos will probably be shorter in the near future because we'll only do We'll do a couple moves. I might do some moves offline. Um, and then just play games on stream. Not sure yet. And then like at the end of the year, we'll do end of year review and stuff like that. So that'd be kind of fun. So thank you for joining. Make sure you follow Leaf Bracer. If you want to follow me, I'm at Chris M. Schnabel on uh, Twitter. My name is at the bottom of, of this. It's right there. You see it right there. Uh, just put an M in the middle um on instagram i'm just chris schnabel you can also follow schnabel studios which is where i post all my videos and stuff like that uh, i'm a videographer so that's where all my videos go also follow leaf bracer on everything leaf bracer is on instagram leaf bracer is on all this all the streaming sites um that's where you can find cup of joes and stuff like that so thank you very much for watching the first game if you watched from the beginning, thank you for watching from the beginning. Sorry, my voice has been so low. I was broadcasting games over the uh, over the weekend, and it's still not really feeling great yet. So thank you for watching. We'll see you next time, and hopefully next time we get another W. Uh, we might even push the overalls up a little bit. I'll announce that in the next video if I do that or not. So thank you for watching again.